Hi guys, good day. We will show you in this video how to change your oil and oil filter. We need a filter wrench, a 17 mm, socket wrench, but depends on the size of your bolt. In this car, it's 17, and some sort of filter wrench if uh, the filter is very tight and it's hard to uh, crack it open. And you need a catch basin for your oil. Uh, sorry for this dirty uh, catch basin, but anything that you have is better. So this is all that we need. And of course, a beddings, any cardon or much better uh, padding. You can jack up your car. Or if you have a ramp much better, make sure the car is safe from moving for your safety not to crush you underneath. Open your engine cup. So to release the pressure inside of the engine, this dipstick, pull it up a little bit. So we are now here underneath. This is your engine drain plug, size 17 mm. And this is where your oil filter that we need to change every service. And we need to crack this open first and make sure to use gloves but in the in this case I am not using a glove because I need to uh, use my phone as well so every time use the gloves because it's not good for your skin that's done guys I already cracked this open it's hard to show on the video because I'm only holding it on my own like so Position your catch basin underneath that we're gonna catch the oil slowly released and this your bolt. Make sure to change your uh, crush washer as well. This is it, ready crack, get loose and remove. Some oil filter is just hand tight only so you can open it by bare hands but if in this case we need to use filter wrench be careful not to drip down while waiting to uh, release all the oil don't forget to have a cloth use a clean towel or any rag to clean the base plate of the filter there you have it we already removed the oil filter make sure to clean this lid before we put the new oil filter. The oil filter must be filled with new oil and it needs to put some new oil to the rubber gasket to lubricate it when tightening the oil filter. Make sure it's properly tight, but if you're not confident enough to avoid the leakage, you can use a filter wrench or a filter cup to tighten up a little bit. Just a little bit, it's not fit only. Now we can plug it back, the green plug. And just snug fit. Yeah, there you have it. Yeah. Okay, we're good to go. This is now the use oil, we're gonna dispose it properly. We're now about to. We're using a 10W40, or you can use 5W40, much better, the full synthetic oil. And make sure to use a funnel when you are refilling your engine oil. Now it's done. You can now bring back the cover. And this engine capacity is 4 liters of oil. And then we need to reverse down the cars to check the level of the oil. And then make sure your coolant is refilled and your windshield water. And we need to check everything, the brakes and all in the batteries. First car and then it's on the flat level and then we have to check the oil level. Make sure you use a clean rug. And it's on the right level guys make sure not to overfill your engines so that's it guys 
Everything is fine with the car. We already changed the oil. That's how simple it is. Just make sure to tight every bolt, every oil filter to avoid leakage. And refill your coolant water with the right color. And wipers. Check the batteries, your brake level. Clean your AC engine filter. That's it, guys. Thank you.